I'm very happy to be talking to Sami Al-Bashir al, al mashud He's the Director of the Bureau for Telecommunications Development at the International Telecommunications Union. Uh, welcome, uh, Ms. Al-Bashir. What has changed in the WSIS process since 2003? Because I don't think many people will know that it is a process that started in 2003. This is the first summit, World Summit, where the international community is really taking it seriously and there is a, a, a yearly follow-up. So uh, we achieved a lot since 2003. Uh, the mobile communication worldwide, as you know, has been more than tripled since then. Uh, we are talking about um, five billion people to be connected uh, to mobile telephony by the end of this year. Um, uh, we, we, we call it the, the mobile miracle. And uh, this is true in the developing world, especially in Africa and many other uh, countries. So what we achieved really in the last uh, few years since 2003 is, is uh, been tremendous in that, in that area. As we mentioned earlier, this is a process that's dated from 2003, but it's also going to 2015. How are you, what are the main challenges going forward to 2015? Well, we just have to, to, to do more to, to meet these targets of uh, 2015, which coincide, the targets of the WIS uh, uh, is, is uh, coincide with, the, with the, what you call the, the Millennium Development Goals targets. So uh, we've done a lot, as I said, but we just have to uh, push a little bit harder to, to reach uh, these, uh, these goals. We have only five years to go. But in the world of ICT, we think this is possible. And we are uh, working, as you can see, uh, through uh, this process with all our partners from the international organization, intergovernmental and non-intergovernmental, the private sector, all stakeholders, the civil society, to, to, to make this possible. We just have to work harder. The good news is that in the smallest developing countries now around the world, they don't ask whether they have to do this or not anymore. It's just how fast they can do it. And this is a very good development in that regard. So does that mean many countries have been sold on the idea that ICTs are necessary for development? The success, I think, the international community uh, gathered is simply this fact that we do not need to convince anybody, even in the least developed countries, that ICT is uh, the main force behind the development of all other sectors. So nobody, as I said, is uh, challenging this fact anymore. It's just to uh, see how they can change their regulatory uh, framework or find the right investment uh, model to, to do this as fast as possible. What sort of role does the ITU play in terms of private companies and governments? Does it act as a broker or a, a mediator between those companies? We have many uh, partnerships. We try uh, to play as a neutral broker. You know, in many developing countries, they feel more comfortable if they work with uh, the private sector through the ITU neutral advice. And we, we use this fact and uh, we uh, put partners together. Uh, we help some uh, private uh, sector companies to, uh, to enter to new markets by encouraging these governments to, uh, to change their laws and their investment laws to, to attract uh, investment and so on and so forth. So we do.